the BBC Daily. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. Today we have a very special broadcast for you, being that it is New Year's Eve. Now that it is 1949, we are going to reflect on these last 10 years. That means the good and the bad. Our first topic for today is fashion. As you can see, Jake and I are both dressed up in the latest fashion. Also, our food reporter is dressed up in a more casual outfit that the young rascals like to wear today. Right. Now we will go to our field reporter, Jacob. Jacob is going to tell us about how people express themselves, not only through fashion, but also through music, movies, and literature. Thank you, Jake. Yes, I'm Jacob, and I will be reporting on fashion, music, literature, movies, and a whole assortment of other things. Today, formal clothing is completely gone. Most people just wear basic clothing like this polo shirt and khaki pants. Most people just said after World War II that they wanted a more basic lifestyle. So even women have started dressing more basic, just like men. People today just have enjoyed a more laid back lifestyle after World War II ended. Also in the 1940s, music has been one of the major factors in this decade. Music, which is basically jazz based in the 1940s, has been centered around one of the biggest stars in jazz, Louis Armstrong. Here is one of his greatest hits of the 1940s. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue. Just give me a moment. That was a truly sensational song by Louis Armstrong. It hit the top of the charts in the 1940s in the jazz genre. Now we'll take a trip down memory lane at the movie theaters. This was one of the most popular pastimes for families of the 40s due to it being very cheap to, to go. Families could go there, have fun, get away from life for a very low cost. One of the most subtle of all wartime propaganda films in the 1940s was the romantic story of self-sacrifice and heroism in Michael Curtis's archetypal 40 studio film Casablanca. Casablanca was shot in 1942 and came out in 1942. It told about a delusional nightclub owner who was played by Humphrey Bogart and a former lover who was played by Ingrid Bergman, separated by World War II in Paris. The film Casablanca was one of the most highly profitable films in the 1940s. Now back to you, Jake and Zach. Thank you, Jacob. Now, Zach and I will be talking about literature in the 1940s. Literature was very popular in the 1940s. One of the most popular pieces of literature was Time Magazine. Time Magazine was a very popular news magazine in the 1940s. It updated the public on current world issues. Now, Zach will be talking about one of the darkest times in this decade. World War II began when Hitler invaded Poland. However, the United States did not get involved until the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 1941. Nearly every country in the world had a part in World War II. Now we will show you raw footage of a battle in World War II. triumphs over evil. By the end of World War II, the Allies triumphed over the Axis powers. When the United States entered the war, they helped the Allies with morale, weapons, and other resources. After a few years of fighting in Europe, the United States finally helped the Allies rise over Germany. 
After Germany was defeated, the United States had to turn their focus to the problem in the Pacific with Japan. After grueling battles in the Pacific, Truman and his advisors decided that dropping an atomic bomb on Japan was the only way to end World War II. In the end, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Japan, one on Nagasaki and one on Hiroshima. After the second atomic bomb was dropped, Japan surrendered and ultimately ended World War II in Allied victory. Now we will go to a short commercial break. 